Hi everyone, today's video is all about the metaphysical causes of the cold and flu virus, what to do if you've got the cold and flu virus, and how to prevent yourself from getting the cold and flu virus again or at all. It is cold and flu season, and all around us, people are getting the flu. So what do you do? Okay, if you've already been to your doctor and to your naturopath and they've prescribed you antibiotics or they've prescribed you some potent herbal remedies, my first recommendation is you follow exactly what your doctor or naturopath has said. I'm never going to tell you not to follow the advice of your healthcare practitioners. What I am going to give you are some additional things that you can do to restore your energy, to heal your energy bodies, which are probably the root cause of the physical problems that you're dealing with, which is the cold and flu virus. So what a lot of people don't know is that with the cold and flu virus, from a metaphysical level, often what's happening is our body is releasing toxins. It can be emotional toxins or it can be physical toxins. Examples of emotional toxins are maybe you've been in a fight with someone. Maybe you just got through a tough breakup or a change in career or job. Maybe you are letting go of friends or there's some kind of change that is affecting you emotionally. And so the cold or the flu comes about to sort of sweep that energy out of your body. Some examples of physical toxins being cleared out of your body are things like being exposed to too much cigarette smoke or maybe eating too much of something, too much wheat, too much meat, or even like if you've been away on vacation and you've been drinking a bit too much alcohol, it can also be, you know, your body clearing out those physical toxins. Here's what you want to do if you have the cold or flu virus. So in addition to following the regime from your healthcare practitioners, what you want to do now is do the inner work. You want to actually be asking yourself questions like, how am I feeling right now? What am I going through right now? Is there anything internally that I need to process? Anything internally that I need to let go of? What do I need to look at? These are the kinds of inner uh, questions or inner work that you want to be doing when you have the cold or flu. These also are questions that will help you to prevent yourself from getting the cold and flu virus. And why I say this is because if there is less toxin to move through your body, your body won't require or need to manifest a virus to clear yourself out. Another reason sometimes that we get the cold and flu, I forgot to mention this earlier, is sometimes we need a break. Sometimes we need to rest. And what happens is if we are going and going and going and we don't allow our bodies, our spirits, and our mind the time to regenerate and to rest, we will get taken out, like literally, we will literally be forced either by some kind of illness like the cold or flu to sit back and relax. So a preventative measure for this would be to actually schedule in times for relaxation or do meditation daily. If you're doing meditation daily and you're having regular relaxation throughout your day and week, your body will not work against you to try to create time for that by manifesting a cold or a flu. All right, these are all the tips that I have for you. I sincerely hope that this video has been a great service and help to you. And if you feel that this video would greatly make a difference for someone in your life, please don't hesitate to share this video or invite them to come over to uh, my Facebook page where there are all kinds of videos, inspirational messages, affirmations, mantras, and all that sort of good stuff. Have a great day, everyone, and please take care of yourself. Self-love first.